Taylor Simpson Coffin was a dominant force in the paint for the most successful women's basketball teams in program history. During her career, the Maroons captured a pair of undefeated UAA titles, while advancing to the Elite Eight once and the Sweet 16 twice at the NCAA tournament. Simpson Coffin received the 2012 Jostens Trophy as the Division III National Player of the Year after leading her team to a 27-1 record. The 6'2 center was also a two-time first-team All-American and the 2011 UAA Player of the Year. She stands fourth in rebounds, fourth in field goal percentage, and eighth in free throw percentage in the career rankings. Taylor was a Fulbright Scholar, a COSIDA Academic All-American, and the 2012 Dudley Medal winner. Congratulations to Taylor Simpson Cawthon, a member of the University of Chicago Hall of Fame Class 2022. Hello, everybody. This is Aaron Russell out here in Richmond, Virginia. I'm really sorry I uh, cannot make it out there tonight. Really had hoped to do so, uh, but just was not in the cards for me. Um, but I do want to start off uh, first uh, by saying a huge congratulations to Rosie Resch. I think everybody in the room knows that uh, most of us would not be there and none of us would have the success um, as a department, athletic department, uh, school, uh, everything without Rosie and her service over the years. So kudos and a huge congratulations to you, Rosie. Um, but also obviously want to give a huge uh, congratulations to Taylor Simpson. Uh, Taylor, was a pleasure uh, coaching you, uh, getting to hang with you uh, during all those times uh, and all of that success. Uh, I think at the end of your term, at end of your time, this was kind of a no-brainer. I think we all knew that uh, this would land here, that you'd be a Hall of Famer, uh, and much deservedly so. Uh, Two-time All-American, uh, Conference Player of the Year, and, and a part of some truly remarkable teams. Uh, I know there was a stretch there, uh, had won 22 games in a row and and, and lost one to that, uh, that crazy team down there in Missouri, uh, and then came back with uh, a really special group and won 27 in a row. Uh, so to go 49-1 and one, uh, with you at the helm, Taylor, again, I uh, appreciate everything that you did and uh, your way of getting us there. Um, I, I say that we all knew at the end that you would end up in the Hall of Fame, uh, but as your coach, I don't know if we all knew uh, that that was in the cards during your first uh, few months on campus. Uh, I know Taylor was really, really hard on herself, uh, a perfectionist, um, but I think we all realized after the fact that that perfectionism and attention to detail and how, how much she put into it uh, really led uh, to her being a, a champion and, and landing her here in the Hall of Fame uh, and celebrating her tonight. Um, people always kind of say, hey, you know, what was it about Taylor and what, what uh, worked out well for her? Um, I used to joke that she went off to India and, and became a better basketball player, which is crazy. Um, but I remember her telling me uh, when she got back from that summer uh, that they would play games up to 51 by ones and twos. And I think she might have been the only female and they all felt bad about subbing out the female. Um, so all of a sudden, uh, you know, we had a great basketball player in great condition when she came back, uh, was already faster than everybody else, but it was in great condition. Uh, we always used to joke that she could catch everything and, and maybe could have been a wide receiver for our football team. Uh, I don't think there's any football players uh, going in the Hall of Fame tonight, but maybe Taylor could have been that as well. Um, but again, Taylor, uh, a huge congratulations to you. Uh, athletically, uh, a no-brainer, uh, but I think, uh, you know, 10 years have been removed but all of the things that you did uh, for the community, uh, the, the folks down, the, the kids down in Honduras, in India, uh, both on campus and in the community. Uh, I used to always say that uh, at, a, at a campus like University of Chicago, there's not a whole lot of professors talking about people on the women's basketball team, but I was constantly hearing about uh, the great things that you were doing on campus, both in the classroom and away. Um, you know, the Chicago Tribune wasn't always uh, on campus uh, following uh, Maroon Sports uh, at that time, uh, but they were there doing multiple articles uh, about you. So I know you changed the, the culture, uh, you changed the path for, uh, for women's basketball at the University of Chicago. Um, I know you want to give a lot of credit to your teammates. I know a lot of them are going to join you here uh, in the Hall of Fame at some point, uh, but tonight's your night, Taylor. Uh, much deserved. I'm very thankful for everything you've done for the program, for me for my family, um, and hats off to you. Enjoy the night, uh, and uh, congratulations, Bill and Carrie. Hopefully you're in the room uh, celebrating as well. Uh, I know we uh, had some great celebrations back in the day, um, but uh, enjoy, Taylor. Um, again, sorry I could not be there, uh, but very, very proud of you.